welcome to Children's Church. So glad you came back for more Bible study. <laughs> really, Bible study in the Bible. I'm going to light our candle to remind us that God is always with us. And by God, I do mean God the Creator, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And since God the Creator, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are always with us, let's do our verse three times to remind us of that. Sounds good. Happy are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Happy are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Now we're going to enter into one minute of silent prayer. We'll let you pause the video for your family. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us in prayer today. Well, I see you brought more Bibles. Was this one not enough? <laughs> that is a big Bible. It almost intimidates me a little bit. But it is third grade Bible Sunday, so I brought our deep blue kids Bible that some of you already have and some of you just got this past week and that we use in Sunday school yes and our storybook Bible that we use a lot downstairs and sometimes in first and second grade too I like it there's pictures so fun well how are we going to learn about them today well you know my favorite way to learn about the Bible is just to walk through it just walk right through it huh? yep that's what I'm saying walk through it well let's do it Okay, literally we're going to walk through the Bible. So we start at the Old Testament, the very front of your Bible, and there's stories we've been talking about in Sunday school, Genesis and creation and Noah's Ark and Moses and Exodus and the Red Sea, all of these historical stories and law stories make up the beginning of the Old Testament. And then we get to the books of wisdom. Let me see. They're all P words. Are you ready? Psalms. Proverbs and prophets. So lots about the kings and songs and praises and laments, and that's the end of the Old Testament. And right here, we're about to move into the New Testament, and something really exciting happens. Jesus is born. So we have all the stories about Jesus in the Gospels. They're written by his disciples, and they talk about from his birth all the way to his death. That's the Gospel. And after the Gospels, we're getting close to the back of the Bible, the end of the New Testament, and we're talking about how the churches were set up. Because remember, there weren't churches until after Jesus died. So we have about church history and a bunch of letters. People are writing letters all over the place. There's no email or texting. So they have letters to the Corinthians, letters to the Romans, all kinds of letters. And that brings us to the very back of the Bible. Okay, we're going to find out where some famous Bible stories in our lineup. Miss Laura, how about the Christmas story? The Christmas story is in the New Testament. Way down here, it's in the Gospels. Most of it is in all four Gospels. What about Moses crossing the Red Sea? Ooh, that is old. I think it's old history in the Old Testament. What about Easter? Ooh, New Testament. Also in the Gospels, probably all four. Check for me. What about this really fun psalm? It goes, He leadeth me into green pastures. I shall not want. Oh, maketh me lie down by still waters. I know that one. And you gave me a clue because it's a psalm. So it's wisdom. Also in the Old Testament, but kind of in the middle of the Bible. What about Noah's Ark? Who built the Ark? Old Testament history. Phew. That was a good walk through the Bible. It was a real walk. You know, something I've noticed, there's a lot of numbers in the Bible too. And just like numbers, when you go on a walk around your neighborhood, tell you what house you're at, the numbers in the Bible can tell you where you're at in the Bible too. Huh. Like house numbers? Like does every word in the Bible have a number? I don't think every word does, but every sentence or phrase or verse does. So let's look at a little closer at those. So for example, this is Genesis. That tells you what book. 
And then it's got a set of numbers here. That first number is your chapter number. Chapter one. Genesis chapter one. Look, there's the gigantic one. It's orange in your new third grade Bible. And then the second number after it tells you the verse number. This is tricky because sometimes chapter one can start on one page, but then the verse is on the next page. Can you see that teensy tiny little 31? So whenever we talk about a scripture, we always hear the chapter number and the verse number, and that can help us as we're walking through the Bible to find out the exact scripture that we're looking for. It's kind of like using coordinates to find a place on the map. Yeah. Genesis 1, 31. That means Genesis chapter 1, verse 31, but sometimes we shorten it that way. It says, God saw everything God had made. It was supremely good. I Ooh. think this children's church was supremely good. <laughs> we Karen. might be biased, but I think so too. Well, remember, you're a beloved child of God, 